Okay, so hello everyone, I'm Rafael from Numbugs Project and today we have here a very special guest, it's uh, Brian. Hello. And uh, he's a specialist in big data, so he has a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. He's been working uh, as a software engineer for 13 years and uh, he also gave a course here for us about big data and it was excellent. So he's, uh, he's not just a specialist, he's a, he's a nice uh, teacher as well. <laughs> <laughs> he learned a lot from him, yep. so he has a lot to share with us for sure. Yep. And uh, he's also doing masters in uh, artificial intelligence, so uh, there's a lot of value to know this project and I'm, I'm bringing him here for us to share what's the three skills that are critical for every senior developer yep. and uh, yeah he's going to explain why those three skills are important for us to be developing in order to be a senior developer yep. so brian it's an honor to have you here yeah, nice. and uh, uh now the show is yours <laughs> yeah so um i guess the the, the three skills i i like to talk about are more kind of um they're kind of intangible, they're more uh, behavioral skills, so um, to, be, to be a senior, um, you kind of have to have three things, I think. You need to have um, uh, adaptability, you okay. need to have, uh, and I will explain in, in, in each turn, but you need to have adaptability, you need to have a, a focus on, an interest or a focus on a certain specific um, topic or, or interest, and you need to have persistence. Okay. And, Okay. Adaptability and probably persistence are probably the two biggest ones. So, to kind of um, to talk about adaptability. So, um, if you look at um, the kind of ecosystem in, in, in programming these days, it's just not good enough to be a um, a Java developer, a straight out Java developer, or to be a Python developer or a front end developer. You have to have a certain amount of uh, skills okay. that you can leverage across the board. So. About 10 years ago, you wouldn't have really seen a full stack job or a full stack developer or a data engineer. They would have been very niche roles um, or, or uh, uh, specific roles. You would do back end development, front end development, and to be different roles. Like a front end developer would go to uh, college to do web or front end development, and the back end would just do just kind of Java development or, or C. Okay. So. I think the, to be a senior these days, you have to have kind of like a, a plethora of skills. You need to know kind of different things. So, if you think of it this way, um, cloud technology has been around for like five years, six years in production, really with AWS. Okay. So, if you're not able to be adaptable to learn new technologies and to leverage your skills, then you're kind of wanting a bit. And companies look for, and, and even like managers and tech leads look for developers at a senior level that can they can come in with their skills and they can apply them to different um, kind of niche technologies or even like different platforms so if you're for instance if you're a job developer now and you're a senior uh, developer you really should have some coverage on stuff like Groovy uh, maybe even Scala I know Scala is very niche and a lot of people don't even use it but you can leverage your Java skills. So basically, anything, okay. I think anything that sits on the JVM, you really should have some coverage of it. Um, it doesn't really matter where you're coming from in terms of your, your, your job. So if your company is on a very old stack like WebSphere, uh, IBM, MQ, you're working on Java 6. There's no real excuse not to be on Java 11. You should be teaching yourself that uh, in, in in the on the side so okay. if you want to kind of become senior and stand above everyone else you really need to have that kind of adaptability okay um, so that's kind of the, 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 the first kind of core kind of skill you need for um, being a senior you need to be adaptable and able to apply your your, your knowledge and your skill set across different um, technologies okay the second is Kind of a focus or an interest in something specific. So I have like around 13 years experience across different jobs. I mean, I did integration engineering. I did I, I did managed services. I did sysadmin. I did programming, big data engineering. I was a development DBA for a while uh, doing data modeling. I have 
plethora of skills. But what I've decided to do is look at kind of the AI kind of um, uh, space and yeah. I started to do a master's in AI. So what I mean by focusing on something is to pick something that you like or something that you have interest in. There's no point in going off and deciding you're going to do learn quantum computing and get okay. some space in the IBM Q experience platform if you don't like it. There's no point in me going off and learning Angular three or Angular four or whatever, whatever Angular is up to now. Okay. Um, there's no point in me learning Angular or any front end development. So I'm just not interested in it, and I'm going to fail at it. Okay. So find something that you're really interested in, uh, from kind of a focus point of view, and work on it. So learning is very very important. Um, so that's kind of the second skill is kind of pick something that you like to focus on. And if you don't really know what you want to focus on and you're, you want to just kind of maximize your, your um, ability to get a job as a senior, what I would do is um, I would go out there and look at all the job specs that are, that are there on the market and kind of take the, the most common attributes that companies are looking for. And job specs can be very, I don't know, waffly or very uh, difficult to kind of um, understand. Like, they can put in a lot of technologies, like you see companies that want AWS and GCP, and I think that's a bit too much. Yeah. So, if a company has a, if, 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 let's just say the top 10 or the top 5 most common skills on maybe 50 uh, job specs that you look at are like AWS, that doesn't mean that the company has AWS, they just like to go to it. Okay. So, like pick, pick the most common 5 ones and do some learning. If it means you have to spend a bit of money doing like Coursera courses or not evening courses, then go ahead or get certified. Definitely do it. But that's the kind of thing I would say. Pick a focus, and if you don't know what you want to focus on, look at what companies want now. Okay. And try and kind of hone a bit of skills in that. You don't need to be a master. If you're a senior developer and you have really good core programming skills and you have yeah. some coverage in the technologies company, companies want, then you will be successful. Okay. Um, and then the third thing then is persistence. So persistence is the, and it's the same like when you're dealing with bugs and, and, and issues at work or like you're, you have a lot of um, work to do, you have to be persistent. So if yeah. you pick something, you have to persist with it. Like if you go off and do a master's or you have a Coursera course or a certification, go do it and persist with it. If you want to get into a certain space like cloud computing, then you should look at, or you should have a persistent attitude to it. So without persistence, you're not going to succeed. So to kind of, um, to kind of recap, be adaptable. Okay. Don't be afraid to take on anything new. Uh, to try and focus on something that you think you'd even, you think you'd like, or that companies are looking for, or that there's job specs out there looking for for, mm -hmm. for this type of technology. And three is persist with it. So give yourself a couple of months to, to learn something. You won't, I mean, you won't just pick up something in a week or a weekend and create a, a new API or a platform and put it into, uh, or a new framework and put it into GitHub. You're not going to do that. But just, yeah. just keep persistent, building iteratively over, over a couple of months and you get it. I'll give you an example. In my AI course, we did a, a postgrad certification first and I remember sitting there going like, what is, what is this? What is this stuff? I, and no, nothing was clicking. And then in the last couple of weeks, I started going to um, meetups with professionals who were talking about AI applications and stuff started to click. And once stuff starts to click, then you're like, oh, I actually know it and I can go off and apply it. So, you know, keep, keep at it. Even if you think you're getting nowhere, you probably are getting somewhere with it. Okay. It, just, it will click at some point. Um, so there are three kind of core, kind of, I guess, attitude or behavioral skills you need to have. I mean, you could be the best Java programmer, you could be unbelievable at Java 11, uh, the latest, or the, whatever the latest Java is, Java 11, I said, you could be amazing at that. And if you have no other interests or skills, or you don't want to work on Spark, or mm. go into GCP or AWS, or do anything else, like around, even around like VMware, edge computing, then you're gonna go nowhere. You're not gonna really master anything because at the end of the day, companies don't really want someone who can code anything in Java. They want someone who's competent at a programming language and can apply those skills to different technologies. Mm. Um, so that's kind of the three core skills then. That's, that's really cool. Uh, learning a lot here with Brian. And uh, Brian, 
what skill do you think is the most important for senior developer?